Whoever's social volunteer gives the green light. I'm just waiting there. You start. You start. Then I'm going to join. Should I start? Or? Yes, please. Okay. Start. Okay, so welcome everyone. Namaskar, Hare Om, Jai Shri Ram. And special suswagatam to all of you to this satsang today. What Tulsi Rashti says in Ramayana is, Vinu Satasanga Vivekana Hoi Ram Kripa Vinu Sulabhana Soi. This simply means that without satsang, there is no vivekaha. And of course, we know what vivekaha is. Nitya Anitya Vastu Vivek. That means there is no knowing real from unreal without satsang. So this is why we've come to gather together and speak the glories of the Lord. That's okay, go ahead. So Shmanti, you come and sit down as well. Okay? <laughs> you want a question? No. I'm fine. Take this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that. I'm, no, I'm fine. Okay. No, we have to. I might need a support by taking it. I am bad. There you go. Uncle will support you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're ready, ready, ready to start? Yes. Please. Okay. So, Bole Shri Radha Var Krishna Bhagavan Ki. So the word Jay, as we all know, means victory. And today we pray for victory in our lives. Coming together in satsanga, in the Sanskrit language it says, Sange Shaktihi Kalo Yuge. Now in satsang, what is there? It is great power. Power of empowerment. Being better than we were yesterday. Making the mind at peace so that we can enjoy the world that the Lord has given. So today we empty the mind of any other thought, whatever thoughts you have that worry you, whatever thoughts you have that bring about elation, too much happiness, right? There's a, there's a such thing as too much happiness. It throws us off balance. As a matter of fact, a great poet said, do not make a decision when you're too happy and do not make a promise when you're angry. So in satsang, we strike this balance. And what is the balance? Finding that inner bliss, knowing truth from unreal. Nitya anitya vastu vivekaha. Vivekaha means discrimination. Knowing that the world is indeed an illusion, it is coming and going. And the only truth is that bliss within that is the Lord. So today we're going to pray. We're going to sing bhajans, kirtans, look at the Ram Chaitamanas as well. So before we do so, let's all empty the mind again and engage in prathna. Hamsa prathna karenge. And simply focus on that wonderful Lord within as we invoke the presence of Lord Ganesha, the remover of all obstacles, impediments, and difficulties. Thank you, O Lord, for making today possible, where we can gather together in satsang to remove the false notions that the world is real and bring about the reality, the bliss that we're looking for within. Gananta Ganapati Gunhava Mahe Priyananta Priyapati Gunhava Mahe Nidhinanta Nidhipati Gunhava Mahe Vasumam Aham Jani Garbadam Atvam Jasi Garbadam Sukhascha Kadantascha Kapilo Gaj Karnaka Lambo Darashta Vikato Vigna Nasho Vinayaka Dhumra Ketu Gana Dhyaksho Balachandro Ghajanana 
Oh, 
So one day Ganapati Vigna Vinashan. The word Vigna means tell you, anybody tell me? Vigna? Obstacles. Obstacles, exactly. And we just celebrated what holiday? Anybody? Ganesh Chaturthi. Yes. And for ten days we were supposed to do what? Dhyan Kare. We were supposed to meditate on the form of Lord Ganesha to do what? To implement and instill the values that Ganapati stands for. And how does he remove the challenges? If you look at his elephant head, it is very scientific. For Bhagavan eki he lekin rup anante. The Lord is one but takes many forms. What is the Lord? The Lord is this unseen, unmatching bliss that we'll see a bit later on. And what Bhagavan is, is a projection in our mind in the form of Ganesha. So that at the end of this 10 day holiday, we merge Ganapati into the ocean of the mind, also known as Visarja. You know, sometimes we go to the beach, we take Ganapati, we throw him overboard. Are ba. We have to merge him in the ocean of the thoughts. His elephant head symbolizes what? Thinking larger than ourselves. For example, Sonali, she is a teacher. And she teaches way beyond her own whims and fancies looking after the children and ensuring that their minds are cultivated for success. So when we think about other beings other than ourselves and take ourselves away from the selfish whims and fancies of the mind, what happens is, my dear brothers and sisters, we have inculcated Ganapati. And his trunk symbolizes Daksha. Daksha means efficiency. His small mouth symbolizes what? His small mouth symbolizes speaking less and big ears, listening more. So if we can inculcate these values, I think all the obstacles would be removed from our life. Check one, two, check, check one, two, check, check one, two, check, 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 good. So this is what Lord Ganesha is. So today, my dear brothers and sisters, we're going to sing to Bhagavan Krishna as well. And it is in Ektal, and I hope you'll join us. It's a favorite of Swami Tej Vainandas. Vasudeva Sutandevam Kamsa Chanura Marga Devaki Paramananda Krishna Vande Jagatguru Din din takdir tu na kata takdir tu na din din.